A couple from Crawley say they're devastated after losing everything in a house fire, including birthday presents for their son who has Down syndrome and is six on Friday. They don't have insurance and have been moved into temporary accommodation, so neighbours have launched a fundraising appeal to help them. John Hunt reports. A family trying to put a brave face on a tragedy. A fire at their home has taken almost everything from them. So when I went in, I could see smoke coming from the wardrobe. So I went to the wardrobe, um, the clothes were on fire, and um, I had f a few bottles of water with me at the time, so I thought it wasn't anything big. I tried to disperse it there and then, and it wouldn't extinguish. And then I just panicked because some smoke, I started inhaling a lot of smoke. Everyone escaped unhurt, but Ali, who has Down syndrome and turned six on Friday, lost all his presence in the fire. I feel dead, I feel numb, I feel like I've lost everything, my child's birthday and he's got nothing for his birthday. Yeah, I mean, I, can't, I was not able to do anything for his birthday, which I feel really bad about. As the firefighters tackled the flames, neighbours came out to comfort Mr Azad, his wife and three children. I am absolutely devastated for the family. They're so lovely, they've been here for ages. Their kids are amazing and they bring joy to the street, so I'm so upset for them. The local community has set up a fundraising campaign because the family has no contents insurance. A birthday cake and presents have been sourced for Ali and people are donating gifts. Clothes, furniture, sofas, beds, everything, because obviously they lost, from what I understand, they've lost quite a bit of furniture upstairs, um, TVs and, and all that kind of stuff. So there's been a lot of um, offers of, of anything that people can give in the area, which has been really kind and really appreciated. The fire service says the family's actions meant the flames were contained. They were safely able to close the doors on the first floor. This prevented further fire spread to the remaining areas of the property and allowed them to safely evacuate. The family had to spend last night with friends, but today the council has found accommodation for them in a local hotel. Let's talk to John, who's in Crawley for us now. So do we know yet how the fire started, John? It's a very unusual fire, Natalie, starting as it seems to have done in the back of a wardrobe. The fire service say they are investigating and so they're not revealing their conclusions to us at the moment. Uh, Mr Azad and his family have moved into a local Premier Inn because the council doesn't have any homes they can immediately move into. Their problem at the moment is feeding their young children because takeaways are really the only viable option at the minute. The local community, as we've heard, have been fantastic. Lots of offers of help, gifts for the young boy's birthday and they've even... Uh, got a collection going and have raised in excess of a thousand pounds. Well, that's good to hear, John. Thank you. Coming up in a moment.